we just left Charleston, South Carolina, and we are en route to Fort Pierce, Florida, with a final destination of around Indian Town, Florida. We're offshore right now, and we intend to stay offshore until we reach Fort Pierce, which we estimate will take about three days. So we're going to be continuously sailing if the, uh, if the weather holds out, everything else holds out. We're on our way. Uh, of course, the board is me, uh, my son Ralph, my cousin Alan, and Tony, a new member of the crew here. What? You didn't show us. You didn't show well, I'm going to. Us. You're not getting. I'm getting around to it. See? Okay. So uh, just to show you the status of everything here. Here's again. There's Tony. And uh, there's Ralph. And where's Alan? And you all know me. So more to come. We, we're hitting some swells right now. Oh, I'd say the swells are. Oh, I don't know. Nine to ten feet. Okay, goodbye. Now these are small swells, they're not really the big ones. We've been having some pretty fantastic big ones. Let's see if one's going to come. Hi folks. Well, here we are, day two of our journey to Florida. Uh, we set out, as you know, yesterday from Charleston, came out into the harbor, and uh, a little while later, uh, shut the motor off and raised the sails. And uh, we've been sails up, no motor, for the past uh, 20, close to 26 hours. And, um, having a great time. Ralph's at the helm. Alan is uh, relaxing, making faces. And uh, Tony is down below uh, taking a little nap. But um, it's beautiful out here. But we do have a lot of swells. The winds have been 15 to 20. Good morning, everybody. 
We are on day three of our voyage to Fort Pierce. Um, we, we've been on the ocean the whole time and we've only run the engine one hour the whole time. Uh, the wind has been wonderful. It's just uh, blowing between, you know, 10 to 15 with gusts up to 20 and uh, in the direction that is favorable to where we're going. The only issue is there's a heck of a lot of swells. And these swells are pretty big. Uh, we haven't come up with an accurate estimate about what they are because we kind of hard to measure those. But we're thinking they're at least 20 feet, maybe 25. Um, I tell you, they're 100 foot high if they're a foot. That's right. It was 100 foot high if it was a foot. So I don't know if you've ever been out on 20 foot swells, some of them to 25 feet. But you kind of, you, it's nice. You you go up and then you surf down. And it's almost straight up, which is pretty neat. Things go flying in the boat, uh, but it works out. So we're dealing with that. We're looking for, here. there's been a whole bunch of, you're not gonna believe me, but there's been a whole bunch of dolphins swing, swimming around us, and I just haven't been able to get, the, get them on camera. I know they're elusive when the camera comes out. But I'll try to get them as the time goes on seeing some beautiful sunsets and sunrises out here. We've been traveling 24 hours a day, for those of you who are not sailors. So no, we do not stop at night on the ocean. Uh, but, uh, here we are, having a great time. Ralph's at the helm, moving around there. And Alan is doing no absolutely nothing. So, what can I say? And I'd say, I'd say I'm doing nothing either, except pushing a button on a recorder and talking nonsense. So, all right, enjoy the, enjoy the show. I Well, folks, we're in the midst of a squall, as you can see, coming down quite heavily. another cruise ship following him. There's a lot of uh, ships that come into the Port uh, Canaveral Harbor. right there getting ready to head out to sea and then over here is a Disney boat heading out to sea it certainly is an active harbor today the 
people are waving. <laughs> Flash bulbs going off. And then we come around the corner. What the hell? There's another turn. Looks like it says arthritis of the seat. That's three for older people. All right, talk to you later. So this is our mooring, and not our mooring. Uh, we're in the uh, marina in Port Canaveral. It's where we stayed last night. And over there is the cruise ship um, uh, dock, where, where people embark upon the cruise ships. There's, when we got here yesterday, there were five cruise ships in here and they all left while we were here last evening. Not sure if uh, you're any are gonna come in today, but uh, we shall see. So this is the marina, pretty nice one. It's called Cape Marina, from Port Canaveral. Very, very nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now day four of our journey to Florida. We are actually in Florida now. We're just leaving um, Cape Canaveral and uh, we decided to take the intercoastal waterway to Fort Pierce due to several factors which I won't bore you with right now. I mean it has to do with the weather, has to do with arrival time and um, a, a, a other factors. So we're taking the intercoastal which is beautiful down here. So we're in Florida it's about a 50 to 60 mile journey, so we'll be doing it in two days to get to Fort Pierce. We hope to anchor out tonight. You can see ahead we're entering the canal. Uh, we've been, well, we're in the canal now, but we're really entering this part of it. So come along with us and uh, we'll be reporting as the day goes on. Well, some people we have received some new information since our last broadcast in error I said that we were entering the intracoastal waterway well that was fake news we entered the barge canal out of Cape Canaveral and we are en route to the official uh, intracoastal waterway so I deeply apologize for that bit of false information and uh, I'll do better next time with my research. All right, over there. Christian McAuliffe Drawbridge. Christian McAuliffe Drawbridge. This is a sailing vessel for Falgar. Waiting for the 8.30 open. Over. You're going through a guy answered, right? Well, that might have been another boat, but I mean, saying yes, yeah, uh, but he's at least you are broadcasting. I'm broadcasting, that point, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was the bridge. No, I don't think it was either. Yeah, it does up on the it says Christy McCall. Yes, hurry up, you might be making the back. Can you back it up? Thank you. 
news. Looks like a nice little boat. I got bad news. We, we're not picking the boat home. There was a nice little boat. Jerry, something happened to the boat. <laughs> yeah. It's in the swamp. Somebody had some explaining to do. Don't cross through there. Look at the I know. sandbar. What's this little island here? That's neat. People live on it. I know. What's he have? You want this off? Hunter. It's yeah. the white thing over there. What, what, what year? Maybe in 85 or 86, something like that. It's not that old. No, they were building better boats back then. Well, it is old, actually. Yeah, well, so is this old. This is 30 years old, so... It doesn't look it. Yeah, well, it's 30. Yeah, I think the new ones have a little carve-out right here. Like, instead of having... Instead of having... Whoop. Instead of having a highlighter yeah. mark, they cut it out. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> they made that change, design change. Yeah. I could do that too. I'll just get my saws on and cut that out there. How does it really work? <laughs> you get a lot more going on. <laughs> the keys back, right? and gentlemen, we're now leaving the Fort Pierce City Marina en route to uh, Harbor Town Marina, where the boat will be stored for the months of November and December over the holidays while we go home 
and enjoy the holidays with our families. And um, we'll be returning in um, January to set sail for the Bahamas. Anyway, we're on the route, on the way to the other marina, and uh, we've taken all the canvas off, as you can see. And the boat is going to be hauled. You'll see that on the video uh, directly. And um, it's going to be on the hard for the duration. And then we'll fly back down. We're flying back tomorrow. Today, tonight, we're driving to Orlando, where we're all we all will be uh, leaving for different parts of the country. Alan to uh, Indiana, Ralph to New Jersey, and me to South Carolina. Although, according to Alvin, me to Allentown. So, that's where we're going. There's a beautiful boat over there anchored. They're enjoying their day, probably going to have lunch soon. How do we know they're enjoying their day? Oh, you look at them. You can they, tell. They you can a, tell they're enjoying they just, their day. Look at them. Look at them. They have their bathing suits on. They're they going to go fight. swimming. So I'm going out in the bow. Uh, they're, they're having a grand old time. I think. And here comes another trawler who, uh, now they're certainly having a good time. Look at them. Look at them whooping it up there. There's a helicopter. He's not having a very good day. And then they have it. I don't know. Harbor Harbor Town. Let's go to 6868. Hog R15 to 68. Hog R on 68. Tower Town cab. Good. Checking to see if there's room for a pump out and fire from our fallout at 425. Uh, we do have a little bit of room on the field dock. Just come on down. Uh, we're still filling our booth once he's done. Uh, we can both light you up, but just start coming down uh, the fairway now. Over. Yeah, the power boat too has a hole in it. Oh yeah, it does. Wow. Yeah, look at the uh, the oh, bimini yeah. and everything. Yeah. Oof. They're both been probably damaged in the hurricane. Hurricane, yeah. Or being shipped from somewhere or something. Look at it, it's spotless. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, surface. 